You know me, I'm cheap. When I see something for free, I grab it as fast as I can. That's what I did for this free Parax package, Avatar work with the free kit ops add-on. And uh, yeah, today I'm going to be showing you how to get it and how to use it. So you can see I have uh, this cube here. It's just a, a default cube with uh, a material. Let me get rid of that. Because, but you can see it's just a default cube. And uh, what this kit ops uh, free package does is that uh, you, you have these planes it's a single plane, simple plane, but uh, it uses a parallax material to fake a, an entire room like this. And, and actually, I think you could use this as a portal of some sort. So if I rotate this, you can fake a portal. So this, when you look from this side, it's different from this side. Yeah, so how to get this add-on? It's available on Blender Market. Yeah, so it's a free package and uh, uh, you can even see that I paid zero dollars. So it works with Kit Bash, uh, the free version. I'm going to add all links in the description. But uh, how how you install it is that uh, you'd have to download this Kit Bash add-on, and after installing it, all you have to do is go under Edit Preferences. So the default settings will look like this. Uh, you just have to go to File Path, and uh, you can click on this plus icon and uh, select the where you have downloaded the w parax then you go to the location where you have downloaded this w parax free pack and for me that would be in my compressed files wp blender pack and uh, you need to extract the zip file navigate into that zip file until you see the three folders and then click accept that will be added to your kit ops and uh, you can access that asset to the list here so now all you have to do is uh, if you have an object like this, let's say a cube, I'm going to use these wider windows here. You just have to select the object and click add insert and uh, it should snap onto the surface like that. Since the scaling is a bit off, so I'm just going to scale this on the X axis like that. And you can see we have a nice room now. Very, very simple. I can navigate to another one. I'm going to have to select the object, insert, and uh, it should snap onto uh, the face. Look at that. Now, let me go to my assets, uh, asset library, and look for a building. This would be a nice way to detail buildings. Uh, say, uh, I have, let me use, which building should I use? Yeah, let me grab this building here. Yeah, for example, this building, you can see, because I just used a plane with a texture, I don't see the interior of this, so I could just maybe replace some of these windows with something like this and look at this this is the same technique used in spider-man uh, in the spider-man game to render interiors i think it looks magnificent so yeah you could have multiple rooms now we have a building that has an interior you get about 12 of free W Parallax assets uh, that you could use, uh, that have rooms, windows, and everything. But if you want more, you can try out uh, this this package by Brunia. It's also Parallax Rooms and uh, works with Kit Ops. Uh, where is that details? Yeah, so it works with the free Kit Ops as well, or the Pro Kit Ops version. Now uh, you can see some of the build the windows there, and yeah quite a lot of detail that you could use. Uh, there are also Parallax materials uh, that you could use uh, to add more detail to your renders uh, like this. You can see how the concrete has depth, a lot of depth. So Parallax can be used for quite a lot of things and I think it's a good way to add extra detail to your renders. And uh, yeah, this is another package of, uh, this time just materials like rocks, uh, roof tiles and yeah, other things so going to be leaving all the links in the description if you want to get that stuff thank you for watching see you in the next